This just be my room right here. One boy shot my house up. I was right there on the bed, me and my little brother Quan Quan. They done shot my house up from right up. This is my mama's shit right up. They shot my mama's house up. They shot this part right up. My mama was in the room, they shot that bitch up. My whole, my house always got shot up. They always spent on my shit. But we doubling back though, for real. Come here though. The ATK gang. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. Ace's Top Killers is one. Nine people you know, potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of and, and who knows what else. The day we were shooting scenes for um, When I See You, Who I Smoke. Uh -huh. Who I Smoke came out of nowhere, went crazy, kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? I don't know. How I took it too far when they made a song for a speaker. Once the dead get involved, it's already too far. Hi, right, what is up everybody? For the past few months, the most talked about song on social media is the Who I Smoke video from Young and Ace. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years and is happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, taking the beats from classic pop songs, and trying to rap the most demonic shit over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it, filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing to lyrics that celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville. Who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month, and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Who I Smoke. Say no! <laughs> hey, Fulio, come get this nigga before he play with your top. This is one of the most savage videos I've seen. Just, you know why? They show one gun in the video. But the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have, like, enjoy life while clowning the niggas who died? So Fulio had to retaliate in a darker, more ominous way, remixing a classic Fantasia song and in the music video, printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fulio's crew and Young and Ace's crew released this song after this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. God cannot, they found his poems, he was right. Where is Corbin? Where is Corbin Johnson? The 18-year-old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. Left his house Wednesday night. Here's a picture of him behind us. And there's little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Oh. Corbin Johnson was last seen alive in July of last year. Then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. But what makes this situation real cold is some of the folks beefing are literal cousins. Blood relatives caught up on opposite ends of the feud. Now, now, that is your cousin. Nigga, fuck your cousin, man. That's your real cousin? That nigga cousin, I don't give a f my nigga cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first I got my guy Millie's with Jim Jones for the song of the day today. This is Heightened Senses. Let's go. Trying to turn a pandemic to a pandemic. Still racked up when the government can't lend it. You suck at spending unemployment checks on class A. Avoid and wreck like dudes ain't put your homie in the ashtray. It's nasty. Got it on me right now, I'm sliding through the trenches. You never let this lifestyle, we grow up jumping fences. Life a death game, I had to play this shit relentless. Surviving on my instincts, had to hide on my sins. I stay up at night and think about the thing. Aye. In order to understand this story, we gotta go to the biggest city in the country in terms of land size that's not in Alaska, and that's Jacksonville, Florida. Florida's always had a huge presence in rap music, especially in the last two decades. But its biggest city, Jacksonville, never really got any mainstream success until now. And that's all because of these viral diss records between two crews. Young and Ace is the face of ATK Gang, which mostly occupies the west side of Jacksonville. His rival Fulio is the face of KTA, alias Kill Them All, which is an alliance between two groups, Fulio's gang from the north and Young and Reckless, a crew from the south side. What's worse about this beef is the amount of mutual friends both camps had at one point in time. Ace and Fulio were never exactly close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, who right now is locked up with his own father, charged for two murders, including the killing of Fulio's blood brother, Bibby. After Bibby's murder, Queso would notoriously walk around wearing Bibby jerseys, taking photos like it was a trophy. 
He even released an album in 2019 putting images of his dead ops as the cover, like a Mount Rushmore of fallen rivals. Jacksonville Police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders in the city go unsolved. So Folks Online came up with the catchphrase, JSO loves queso, for the simple fact that he telegraphs what he's doing on social media. You see a hot Latin? Come in, boy! Come in, boy! All of Queso's songs have millions of views on YouTube, and he was actually very close with King Von. The two had music together, Queso even appeared in that infamous video where Quando Rondo and Von were joking around with each other back when they were on good terms. Dirty ass! <laughs> Queso was there as well. But back in Jacksonville, Queso had a well-known reputation for demonic antics. He famously tried to organize a team deathmatch in real life with his own cousins, who repped the rival gang, KTA. What's up, where you at? Come on, I do a team deathmatch. Right now? Yeah, I'll two versus us, too. Look at my cousins. They, we looking like My cousin don't want to talk. He trying to act all. <laughs> he trying to act all hard. Oh, Jason. They got the black hoodies on. One of the cousins on that live was named Lil Nine. A month after that back and forth, Lil Nine was leaving a gas station when his car was ambushed. Shot 12 times from a rifle inside another car, sending him crashing into a rental wheel tire shop, where Lil Nine was pronounced dead at the scene. While folks at the tire store were trying to revive him, Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Fuck niggas play. Play. Fuck niggas play. You fuck niggas play, man. Of course, Queso responded with a video of his own, laughing. Get out! <laughs> Get out! <laughs> then Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fuck niggas play. Y'all fuck niggas play. Y'all fuck niggas play. 60 days later, Queso dropped a music video, and in it, we see him putting a photo of his own deceased cousin, Lil Nine, in the microwave. See, the crazy part is, everybody that's beefing, at one point in time, was cool. Queso met Young and Ace in the ninth grade, they've been friends ever since, but the rival Fulio likes to remind Queso that back in 2015, he was hanging with them, and even had the nickname Six Block Queso for his affiliation with Fulio's gang, Six Block. Even Young and Ace admits he was a fan of Fulio's music before their beef really escalated, but a series of unfortunate events would draw lines in the sand. Neutrals had to pick sides quickly. At a block party in South Jacksonville, it's in YNR territory, Young and Reckless. A crew led by YNR Mookie and his lieutenant, Slugger T. Ace and his gang show up to the party and get into an argument with YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin, with his lieutenant Slugger T shooting back. But Ace and his crew managed to escape the party, leaving Young and Reckless and Ace's crew on bad terms. On top of that, YNR's leader Mookie was already friends with Fulio's cousin. This made it easy for YNR and Fulio's gang to click up, creating an alliance under the name KTA, or Kill Them All, with one enemy in common, Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go To War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up. But the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission, looking to avenge a robbery that had happened to him. He knew exactly where the robber was, on the west side of Jacksonville, at Fulio's cousin's house. So he snuck into the house, throwing a brick through the sliding door entering from the back where he began shooting. No mask, no gloves. He couldn't get who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this was the start of a war, Zion's death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times in an attempt to prevent her from going to trial and testifying. She miraculously survived, and young Anace's friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things were just getting started. Fulio's cousin being the first death in the beef, meant KTA were looking to get revenge swiftly. They needed to make an example. Ace's music was starting to pick up steam. His new song, F That, was getting millions of views on Worldstar in mere days. Fans were already comparing him to Youngboy. Then a week later, this happened. Four young men were in this car when they were shot. The vehicle pulled up to their Chevy sedan, opened fire, then took off. And one is in critical condition at the hospital. Keontae Bullard, the only survivor of the quadruple shooting,
It's a Tuesday in June of 2018. Ace, his brother, and two friends were going to Wasabi, a Japanese steakhouse, for Ace's friend's 18th birthday. Everyone was in good spirits, taking photos. It was a celebration. But little did they know, the whole time, they were under surveillance. Rivals had found out their location because of Ace's Instagram story, taking photos outside the steakhouse. Ace even recorded his friends eating inside the restaurant and posted that too. So their enemies waited outside, watching them eat then followed them leaving the restaurant, driving along the highway. When they got to a red light, the shooters opened fire on the passenger side of Ace's car, killing his two best friends and his brother, leaving Ace in critical condition. It was a quadruple shooting, and Fulio got the news before anyone else did, except he thought Ace was dead. <laughs> the boy lost the Fortnite match. <laughs> Till coming up, man. Cold summer alert, man. Two, three pack, man. Ace pack, bitch. Of course, Ace survived, but he lost everything, his brother and his two best friends. The attention, however, was helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and as we speak has 50 million views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every time Ace would drop a song, his rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team, whose whole job was to basically comb through music videos from both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think the primary goal is to entertain, but they are making real rap music. And at the top of the next year, in February 2019, Fulio's little brother Bibi was the next target for assassination. Bibi was just 16 at the time, and he was coming home from school one day in his own neighborhood on the north side of Jacksonville at the Hilltop Apartments. He was sitting on a gazebo in the courtyard of his complex with a friend. The two were looking at their phones when all of a sudden, pounding gunfire erupted. Bibi and his friend dropped the phone and jumped. Both started running in different directions, frantically looking for cover. A total of 60 rounds were shot in under 15 seconds. Bibi was killed instantly. A year later, when the court documents were unsealed, the police named Queso as the gunman responsible for Bibi's murder, saying that they drove for hours, circling the complex, parking, waiting, until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibi's direction. Then Queso allegedly walked up to Bibi, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire, and executed him at close range before fleeing the apartment complex in a gray Nissan. The court documents also mentioned Queso's affinity for wearing Bibi jerseys and posting it to his IG page in celebration. Queso's bond is currently set at $4 million. For Fulio, losing his brother and his cousin in a short period of time was devastating. But 2019 was also the year his music was going to the next level. A million views back to back to back consistently. And he was doing it all independent. Fulio was a big deal in Florida, but not quite big enough to be touring the country on his own. Unlike his rival Young and Ace, who was booking shows in multiple states. Just a month after Fulio's brother died, Ace was performing at a nightclub in Waycross, Georgia. Him and his crew went back to the hotel to relax by the pool when they were suddenly ambushed. An SUV pulled up and a group of guys hopped out shooting. Queso was there and didn't hesitate for one second to shoot back. One of Queso's boys, Rallo, died at the pool in that shootout. Only Ace's side got arrested for shooting back. The other gunmen were never found by police. Queso would say the quiet part out loud in his song, Been Dead, where the lyrics go, Should've killed me in Waycross, they hopped out with the K's. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music video where he puts his cousin Lil Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested for a whole different murder alongside his father, who was charged with accessory after the fact. Allegedly, they were getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck, who dissed Queso's older brother that died in a van full of Queso's relatives when two cars rolled up, blocking them off, and put 100 bullets inside the car. Lil Buck was Fulio's close friend and a high-priced target that ATK got the drop on, allegedly rolling up at 11 in the morning while he was applying for a job to assassinate him. Queso posted to his Insta story right after, saying, I kill a dude, then get my toes done. Receiving a pedicure with the caption, kill a N-word, then go get my toes done. This wasn't the first hit done outside a job site. 
Another rapper, Jump Out, who beefed with Young and Ace and ATK, was killed while waiting in line to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse. Leading to the infamous line on Who I Smoke, where they say, found out where he was working and clocked him out. The war had escalated to a point where, no matter where they were, no matter who it was, one side was shooting at the other, and the other would shoot back. We can count a dozen of Fulio's friends who are locked up, and YNR Mookie, and Slugga T are behind bars too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Y'all yeah, thought I was dead. Y'all ain't underscored this yet, boy. And to this day, Young and Ace still has a bullet casing in his butt from the quadruple shooting outside the Wasabi Steakhouse. That's it for this video. Let me know what you want me to cover in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.